Insider. It's presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. And brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you're stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke with a friend. Together, taste better. Carolina Ford. Ford, built for victory. Built for the Carolinas. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law. 919 All Fours. Hello again and welcome to the Carolina Insider. And whoa boy, do we have a lot of good stuff to talk about with you today. Of course, most notably an all-time performance by Carolina football on the road at number 10 Miami. And the Heels absolutely dominated the game. 62-26 the final score. Tariel set a school record for total yards. Just one yard off the school record for rushing yards in a single game. Uh, Michael Carter, Javante Williams, the offensive line. So many great things to talk about. The Tar Heel defense played so great in the first half. It really was an exciting win for Carolina over the Hurricanes. You're going to see highlights and postgame reaction from that. Also, Carolina basketball added a game just a couple of days before this past Saturday against North Carolina Central. The Heels and Eagles able to play in the Smith Center. It wasn't the cleanest game for the Heels. They led by double digits a large majority of the second half. A big second half run near the end by Central got a little closer. The final score 73-67, a win and plenty to work on for Carolina out of that. Plus, we're going to talk on the women's basketball side of things with graduate transfer Petra Holoshinska came to Carolina after she began her career in Illinois. The Tar Heels off to a strong 5-1 and one start on the season for the women's basketball side of things. So all of that coming up, but let's start with football highlights, and there are a bunch. We'll go to first half in Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida for the Heels and the Canes. Howell will be in the shotgun, claps his hands, and Carolina will keep it on the ground. First play, Carter has some space, popping to the near side. Stiff arm still on his feet over the 35. Good physical run by Michael Carter to start things off. Howell claps his hands as the heels snap it from the 37. Play action. Howell's going to try a deep ball going down the far sideline in the sunshine and making the catch for Carolina is Diami Brown inside the Miami 20. Heels have two tight ends in the game. Morales to the right side of the line. Walston to the left. Now Morales goes in motion. Hand off to Javante Williams. Left side, right to the goal line. He'll be half a yard shy. Jonathan Ford, big 6'5 senior from Fort Lauderdale, with the hit for the Cane. On the field, the runner was short of the goal line. That player's under further review. Yeah, I think that's the right decision to take a look at this. After further review, the runner extended the ball past the goal line resulting in a touchdown. Miami snapping from the left hash, going from right to left. Aquarius Conley blows up the handoff in the backfield, rips down Cameron Harris for a big loss. But it's a gain of nine by Williams. Carolina goes right back to the ground. Javante coming near side, he's crossed the 50, runs over a man, still plowing ahead over the 40. First and 10 from the 21 yard line. That last pitch and catch was a gain of 14 from Howe to Deami Brown. How lots of time to throw. Michael Carter makes a great catch in traffic in the middle of the field. He was popped hard by Keontra Smith. One to the left. Howell's going to run this speed option oh, near side. It. Javante Williams leaps in for six. What a great call and great execution. He there was nobody close to him. Miami really playing with pace. Hand off to Cheney, and I don't think so. Chaz Surratt, the first Tar Heel there. And I think he stopped Cheney a good yard shy. Carolina will get the ball on its own 35-yard line, still in the first quarter with 26 seconds left. Hand off to Michael Carter. Carter near side, first down and more. Carter down the near sideline, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Good by touchdown, Carolina. A first quarter barrage in Miami. Heels up 20 to three. Second and five, hand off Javante Williams, this time to the far side. Javante out in the open. Williams at the 50, heading down the far numbers, 40, 30. Williams chicken fighting with some canes as he's finally pushed out of bounds. Snap back, spot down, and Atkins bangs it through for three more. And the penalty pushes the ball back to the 24. 
King back to throw. Pressure coming, and he's wrapped up and dropped. Taman Fox and Jeremiah Gimmel combined to take down the Hurricane QB. So it moves it out near midfield at the Carolina 48 on the far hash as the heels go right to left with a 24-3 lead. How play action whips it to a wide open. Deami Brown over the 40 gets hit by Bubba Bolden, stood up there, and heels up 24 to 3 and looking for more. How claps his hands. They'll keep it on the ground with Carter. Cuts up. He's at the 20. Makes a man miss. Carter cuts again to the outside. Give him six more. Holy smokes. Carolina touchdown. And how agile is he? He juked out two different Miami defenders right there. And so it's second and 12 back at the Miami 38. King to throw, here comes pressure, and Conley rips him down. Nobody picked him up. He had a free run on the quarterback. With a 31-3 advantage. How to throw off the goal line. Deep down the numbers, De'Ami Brown in midfield, 40-30. Brown in a foot race, 15-10, dropped at the five. Bubba Bolden just able to stop Carolina from a 92-yard touchdown pitch and catch. What an impressive First 30 minutes for the Tar Heels in Miami.